the first accessory I'm going to highlight today is one that was sent to me by my friend Ricardo. Ricardo runs a, a Mevo fan group on Facebook called Mevo TV Studio. You need to go by and check and see what he's able to do with the Mevo camera. He has designed and produced a wrap for the Mevo start. Now this wrap starts at the bottom, wraps around, folds over the back, and then is labeled so you can see from any of those three directions which camera you're dealing with. And I'll show you in a few minutes why that is so incredibly valuable. I can tell you this, whether I'm streaming baseball games, football games, or in a church setting, knowing which camera is where and not having to remember, my post-COVID brain fog has been terrible, which camera is which or which camera my audio, which source of audio is running through. Sometimes I'll use uh, the microphone I have here. This is the Hollyland Lark 500. I also use a Rode Video Micro for audience crowd noise and so to know which one I need to adjust without knowing which camera is attached it is attached to sometimes is a little bit difficult so being able to look over and see which camera I've got and that has been an incredible help to me you need to go look and see what Ricardo has done there and, and see about ordering some of those because it has been a, a, a great addition. Now he has several designs, each labeled whatever you want the camera to be labeled, but, uh, but this blue uh, design that I chose is one of many that he produces uh, and, and sends out to folks. So uh, look Ricardo up on the, on the fan group he has on, on Facebook there. I think you'll, you'll be glad you did. The next accessory I want to, to show you is one that I'm going to put to use here at the baseball field in just a minute. I'll show you a, a clip of me putting it up, but it is a magnetic ball head mount. Now the magnets in this are incredibly powerful, and so it will stick to any of those poles, posts, that a backstop is made of. The way so many uh, baseball fields have the large galvanized metal poles that their net or their fence is hung on, this has become an incredible resource for me because I'm not having to, to uh, make sure my zip tie will reach all the way around a larger pole. Um, it is very stable. I'll show you in just a minute what I'm talking about there. This is the spot I always mount my camera in when I use the CCTV mount that zip ties to that pole. This is our home field. I have mounted the magnet mount here with my Cam 2 wrap. Ricardo printed those and sent them out to me. You can see, maybe you can see, that I'm not making contact with the fence. If this fence shakes, the camera does not. Not making contact there. Now this is a relatively thin post that this chain link fence is mounted on, but you can see that this magnet <laughs> well, I say, it's tough. It, uh, man, it, it grabs very well. You can position that how you want to pretty quickly and easily. That is the normal shot that I run. Oh. That's a very powerful magnet. That's the normal shot that I run from behind home plate. I generally run one over there at the first base dugout or up the first base line a little bit and get across the diamond in that shot when I'm running Mevo Multicam. And here is the shot you're seeing through a link in the fence. It is unobstructed. It catches the whole infield. It's able to level fairly. I, let me see, I grab this fence again and shake the fence. You can see that it's not making that camera move at all because there's some separation there. Turns out to be an incredibly easy setup option with that magnetic base mount. But the ball head mount on it then is uh, allows you to change your level. If, if it's a, an angled pole that gets bigger at the bottom, smaller at the top, you've got the ability to get back to level with that ball head mount. 
and allows you to peek through a chain link fence or or, or, or maybe even even the uh, the netting that sometimes you find but to be able to mount to a a pole instead of the fence is always been is always a, a better choice in my opinion and I'll tell you why I think it's a better choice because whenever someone sits below your camera and there's always folks that sit next to the net or next to the fence they're gonna put their feet on the fence they're gonna grab that net at, that fence at some point and they're gonna pull on it to get up if it's the net they may not have physical contact with it near as much but you know that wind will blow that net and you know that that foul balls are going to come and hit that and your camera angle shot is going to take all kinds of movement in those times and so to be able to mount to the post instead of mounting to the fence itself to me is a much better option for live sports streaming especially when it comes to the baseball field that I like to stream at or any of the baseball fields that I like to stream at. In addition to this magnetic ball head mount, I have also purchased a pair of smaller ball head mounts. Now this came as a, as a pair, two of them, less than 20 bucks on Amazon. I will do my best to put a, a link in the description to the things that I have highlighted here and, and you can click from there out to, to wherever we're talking about. But this little ball head, that it, it comes with a, a cold shoe attachment on the bottom see if I can highlight that enough so you can see it. Cold shoe attachment on the bottom, which can be removed naturally. Quarter 20, that can go on top of tripod, it can go on top of this other and give you double jointed ability to change your angle or even reach. Put that on there right quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I do that and then I can reach a little farther out from the pole to catch right in between two links of the chain link, and then square that back up to level. Now I've changed where my camera sits and I can find that perfect shot that doesn't have chain link fence in view. It's going in between one of those little diamonds on the chain link fence. Now one caveat about mounting on a magnetic base on a pole is that this is one of those cases you, want to want to, you will want to be sure to use a tether because as this clip shows, Sometimes you get a direct hit on that camera. The, the hit you just saw was one where I was still using my CCTV mount that I carry out to ball games. I have a similar one mounted in my church for my side view cameras. Now, this would then wrap around a pole. If I need a, a, a more to wrap around a bigger pole, I just add more of these reusable zip ties. You can see that they have a, a tab on them that lets you reuse these zip ties. mash that tab and it lets loose of the, the grip on the zip tie it has. Now that hit was from this and so when it gave it was still attached to the pole and I could realign what I had going on get my shot back pretty quick. If I'm going to use a magnetic mount on one of those poles I want to be sure I've tethered this loosely with a zip tie around this notch to the fence would be fine just so long as it's not going to drop all the way to the ground if it takes a foul ball that close to direct hit. So ball head mounts, magnetic ball head mount, and wrap for your Mevo start so you can at a glance see which camera you've got audio running through or which camera you, you are using. Um, so often you're behind your cameras and you can't see the red light so uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of a benefit to having these wraps just to be able to see what cameras you've got going, especially when you start using the multicam app. One of the great things about having a YouTube channel is being able to connect with those of you who view the channel. Thank you for leaving comments in the, in the comment section of each of these videos. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, consider doing so. Like this video. Likes and subscribes get this video put in front of more people and we get more views and I get to produce more content. So thank you for watching today and God bless.